Back it up, brother. Booyah. Holy crap, I'm very, very excited to get this going. I've always wanted, oh, damn it. Ah. I got my damn booster shot yesterday. I feel like, ah, uh, say. Ah, uh, so sleepy, can't use my left arm. Can't hold the camera up, no chance. But, um, this should be pretty interesting. I got my cabinet made up. This thing's solid as, it's so good. But now I'm making the roller cab. Now this thing, <laughs> I thought the bloody cabinet was a mission to make. Got all the drawers there, all the rollers, all the bench stuff here, all the panels. Look at all those, all these guys here. And then yeah, like there's that whole stack right there. Most overwhelming thing is this. Why? There's like a thousand screws in here. That's an insane amount. I've never had to build something with this many screws. If you're gonna do this sort of stuff, make sure you have one of these bad boys. An electronic screwdriver, because imagine, imagine doing this with the screwdriver they give you. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Look at these wheels there, these look really good. They look awesome. Solid, quiet, rubbery. Mm-hmm. This, and all those, and the screws. Oh God, I'm in for a big one. This is gonna be huge. Next day, and I am feeling much better today. Rob's back. Rob is back, baby. So yesterday we, we did all this. We built the whole cabinet. That took a while. And so now today's mission is to do something with all of this. I don't want to see any of this somehow. I gotta get rid of it all. As I mentioned yesterday, this is my toolbox for my apprenticeship days. This is my apprenticeship toolbox. My mum bought me this when I entered my second year apprenticeship. How good is that? The tools need an update. It's just... A little bit chaotic and I can't even open these drawers here because all this crap's here. And these drawers here are just absolutely full of just, I don't know, I actually don't even know what's in here. Heaps of screws in that one. It needs a little makeover and a tidy up. So the plan is this. I need to have all my aerosols and everything, they're all in the bathroom there. That all needs to go into this nicely. I also want to get nuts and bolts and everything like that out of that bottom drawer there, all nice and organized here. So I have like screws, nuts, bolts, washers, all that sort of stuff. I also want an electrical section for all my wiring stuff. Like all these things tidying up, cable ties, wires, terminals, all that sort of stuff I need in here as well, nice and tidy. And then, yeah, I don't know, heavy stuff. I've got jacks and jack stands and all that sort of stuff over there for cars though. Ew, cars. Okay, so everything's cleared out of the drawers, finally. Got through it all. It's so weird seeing it like this. I haven't seen like like this for, you know, bloody years. So first, I divided everything up. So here, washers, nuts, screws, bolts, all bike sort of stuff, adhesives, electrical, and brackets and that is all rubbish i'm chucking all that out that was all in my toolbox i love that feeling of just getting rid of crap i bought myself a brand new set of pliers a brand new set of screwdrivers not sponsored i just really like the brand this is a cool little divider so i don't know i think like terminals and all, all that sort of stuff will go into there um these will be for my nuts and bolts and everything so that we all nice and labeled with I need a little labeler here, and that way everything's gonna be nice and, you know, labeled up. Um, a drawer organizer, or drawer organizer. <laughs> I think that's gonna be good for this because there's so many, there's so many drawers and they're all just, you know, just the same. There's nothing, there's nothing in them. So I think this will come in handy. Spanner rack, because my spanners at the moment look like this. There's my old screwdrivers, so big cluster mess. These, these are good though. Cheap ones are good just to use as your bashing weapons. And these are my very first, my very first set of screwdrivers. So it could do with an update. They're all pretty banged up and very, very used. Got some more cable ties, little tubs. So I'll probably have the cable ties in one and then, I don't know, some electrical stuff in the other. I've still got to you know, sort everything out. I bought more than I needed, more than I planned to because they were always come in handy. These things were like six bucks each, man. 25 litre crates, like they're so, they're so small, but so handy. And they sort of stack on top of each other. You spin them around like that. They stack on top of each other. How good is that? And so then they all sort of just go in here nicely. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and also, zoom. In here is where all my like my power tools and I'll get some um, battery rattle gun and all that sort of stuff for in there, and that'll stay in there. These magnetize. There we go. And I bought this big tub here for all my stuff. 
you know, you, you guys have seen this when I go on tours and everything. I use a big luggage rack and all that. So that'll just also live in there. So I can just take this tub down from upstairs, bring it down, get the bike up, and um, we'll start fitting everything. But let's get all this into this and that. I have a little visitor. So this is her official warehouse welcome. Do you like it? She likes it. She's literally clawing into my arm. Look at my arm. <laughs> ah! Go be free. <laughs> yeah. Like fried rock. Yes. Anywho, so yeah, she's been at the apartment all by herself and usually I'm always home editing and stuff. So when I get home, she's just full of beans and full of energy and I'm tired and I don't have a chance to play with her. She's all lonely and stuff. So I thought, hey, it's, it's bring your daughter bay. You're gonna hear a lot of this. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of hair as well. Okay, so this is today's mission. So obviously, obviously like a, I like a bit of privacy and I've just gotten all the old bits of cardboard from the toolboxes and everything just to block everything up for the time being because this backs right out to the, the main road. Not ideal. People can just see straight in and I don't want people to see my stuff, apart from you guys, of course. So I've got Emma today. Emma's helping me and we are going to lay some vinyl on the glass. I've never done this before. <laughs> I was quoted two grand to do it, but I bought the stuff for 350 bucks. I'm gonna just try to do it myself. Everything's all packed in the toolbox all nicely now. I will share that with you very shortly. Um, I'll go through it with you in the whole setup, even that boy down there. Yeah. This is the vinyl here. So it's all like a matte black finish. So it's gonna be completely blacked out. Only the top parts here will be letting some light in. I might block that up later if I don't really like the whole light situation. So I've watched a few YouTube videos on how to do this. Emma's is like laughing at me. So, first step is to clean the windows. Then, peel the backing off the paper, spray the window down with a bit of soapy water, layer it on, just spray lots of water on there. And then, with Emma's help, we're going to place the film onto the glass, and with the water, it should allow for some movement, fingers crossed. And then spray more water over the top of the vinyl, and then press all the bubbles out with the squeegee, and I've got like another little scraper thing that's made for this sort of stuff. And then use a Stanley knife and card to cut the excess remaining around the window. How good does that look? Turn out awesome. Yeah, that's it. It was a little bit scary, but you know, and that's the easiest one. <laughs> Just saying. So you know. oh, <laughs> these ones are gonna be the next easiest ones, and then these massive ones here are the hardest with this one down here, that's gonna be tricky. The old half, half boy. But we got this, Emma, we got this, yeah! So there it is, all done. This turned out so nice. Vinyl, ooh. Hey, look at that, so tidy, so tidy. Outside as well, blacked out completely. Oh, well, that wasn't the easiest thing to do, but I'm glad I did it myself. Massive thank you to Emma. Couldn't have done it without her. Far out, holy crap. It's a two person job, maybe even a three person job. But we got there, it looks mad. I'm very, very happy. Time to take you guys around. I'm so stoked with how it's all turned out. It took a while to get here. It's been about a month now, but um, we're finally sort of here, almost. All my tools are all nice and organized. The new screwdriver set's all in there and everything's all nice and, you know, nice and tidy, where it should be now. Obviously, yeah, there's still room to grow, which is mad. This has turned out awesome. Heaps of space in there still, but everything that I have is in there. All nice and organized. All the nuts and bolts turned out nicely. Nuts, bolts, screws, washers, and my electrical stuff in these tubs. Tubs are handy, man. Love tubs and then all my other parts and everything. So much more organized than just piled up in that thing. Holy crap. And I think this turned out incredible. I think it matches my bike 
so damn much hay. Probably wondering what the hell this hose is. <laughs> that little thing right there, boop. That's meant to evaporate all the water to save you having running piping everywhere, but it overflowed. So Kev came back and we just did a makeshift hose. It's gone into a sink. So he's got to come back and literally pipe it from like right across there, right across there into the drain over there, which is a bit of a mofo. We've also got these cables here, these guys here. Don't worry, they're not live, but there's um, more power points going in here and here for the workshop space. I will be getting a hoist for my bike and that'll be able to up and down. So that's pretty much the, the workshop area. And then that'll be able to tuck away vunk all against that wall. And then this is my photography studio space. So I'll be mounting a rail, have some different backdrops, and then I'll be able to do all product sort of stuff and portraits and whatever the hell I want. And that's my only flash. I need to buy some more, you know, bigger lights, bigger studio stuff. I want some overhanging lights and a bit more of a vibe going on, you know. With these skylights here, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much with them. And I think if I just wanna have controlled lighting, I'm gonna have to just shoot at night, which for some reason here is, you know, not till 9.30. <laughs> at night and then this is the the hang area i guess so the cool thing about this is that we've been able to double up on furniture romina's apartment's already fully furnished so when we moved out of our place we already had another set of furniture so it's all come here fridge couch telly xbox all that's ready to go so this is the full on hang section we would be able to can watch movies can do whatever couch hang chills beers in the fridge Plants, it's mad. It's a full on, like I forget that I can literally just, I could live here if I wanted to. The only thing it doesn't have is a shower. It's got all the plumbing there, but there's no shower available. So you guys are completely up to date with where I'm at. This is literally the day before this video goes live. So this is it, this is where I am. But the series will continue. The series will continue to grow because there are many things that are still gonna be happening to this. This is where I can start from. This is where I can start working from. And I'm happy to be here guys. This is. Sick. Melbourne's awesome. I can't wait to share Melbourne with you. I'm going to start a new vlog series as well. Full on just one camera on my helmet, one camera pointing back at me, and just good times and chats through the city. You guys actually recommended that, so I'm going to do that. We're going to explore Melbourne together because I don't really know what's out there. Not yet, anyway. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you for joining along on this journey. It's been awesome. It's been amazing having you with me, and I love the response that I'm getting with all this sort of stuff. So I'm excited as you guys are. Well, actually, I'm like obviously way more excited because I'm here. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you next week's vid. Ride safe. There's a screwdriver set. Look at that. They don't fall out. <laughs> they don't fall out at all. <laughs> now they don't fall out. This wasn't in properly. Leave me alone. Well, that's sick, though. <laughs> well, I like them. <laughs>